So here's a picture of the school. It's like a 2009, but you can see all the kids moving as one with integrity and love. Where are we at here today? It's Catholic Junior College. Catholic Junior College. Colin, I'm the principal. Uh, okay, and? I'm Jake Swan, I'm the vice principal. Not perform as well academically. Right. But are given this opportunity to be trained in terms of the technical skills. Right, and you're talking in terms of the ITs. Yes. Okay, and so I think what you're saying is Singapore recognizes that not all kids are going to go to college. But then you shouldn't just throw them out there and they with no skills. And so they made it, I mean, what I saw at the IT was just an enormous investment mm -hmm. in quality programs like I don't think I've ever seen anywhere in the world because they want those kids to, to be, to have opportunities just like some anybody else. Some of them else. still go on to, some of them still go on to a, a degree. Right. But it's just a different pathway. Sure. And they just take a, a little longer because some of them take a longer time to sort of mature and to, to hone their skills. Right. right. But we just don't want them to fall through the cracks because uh, for us, we're a very small country and everyone in the country matters. If we have them falling along the way, then we're going to end up with social problems. Right. We're going to end up with families that will just continue the social problem. Right. So that's how we see it. That's how we look at education, that it is really about equipping everyone with skills for life. Right. Yeah. And I, I asked a couple of people this, but is my understanding, they don't have a lot of social welfare programs here, right? They do for people that really need it. Would you say that? The philosophy is really about uh, we will help, we will support you. But you need to help yourself you too. You need to also show that you are able to make some steps to right. help yourselves. It's not a case of I can't do anything and I depend on the welfare. We and we're going to continually give you money and handouts. There's always a motivation that we need to see that you're doing some work to help yourselves. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, because I think that's one of the... the one of the many problems in America, they give, they've actually made um, poverty a handicap. <laughs> and I so. think like for many of the workers, because of the structural changes, and if they're in their 50s and the 40s and they're out of a job, they go for retraining. Right. And they're supported by the training agencies, and then they find new jobs that will be relevant for the current um, landscape. Right, but it looks like to me here in Singapore that they... The, 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 the system here is really aligned with business, the needs of business. It's very much uh, underpinned by basic economic principles. Right. Yeah, it's very economically driven because that's uh, our survival. Right. right. We're too small to be on our own, so we really need to be plugged into the world and always be uh, relevant uh, economically. Right. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I don't think large countries could run it anyway either. 30% out of the secondary? Yes. Okay. Yes, then another 40% will go to the polytechnic. Okay. And then I think the rest will go to the ITE. And is all polytechnic, is that all kind of technical driven? It's, it's, yeah, it's very specialized. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, not, it's not all technical, but it's again very specialized to suit the industries like it could be business and finance. Mm -hmm. It could be media and uh, the digital uh, industry. Advertising. Advertising. It could mm -hmm. be the health-related industries. Like it could be engineering. Like a doctor would go no. there? The health-related would Nurse. be... Nurse. Uh, yes, nurse. Like... Uh, and also the therapies. Mm -hmm. Physical therapists, things like mm -hmm. that. So doctor would be coming out of the... JC. JC. JC to the university. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what about lawyers? They'd come out of here too? They do have legal studies in the poly, but the numbers that make it to the law degree, I think, will be quite small. Mm -hmm. The majority of the lawyers will come out from the JCs. Okay. Yeah. And then the, the ITE would get the rest of the pot? ITE really fits. the, the Again, in the, if you look at uh, an industry or so on, the ITE will fit the people on the floors who really know the technical stuff mm -hmm. who are probably reach the supervisory levels right if I'm not wrong. The administrative okay. pathway, how does that work? We all started off as teachers. Okay. Uh, and then we move up the ranks to manage a department and then uh, to be VPs. But for the school leadership, the principalship, then um, we have to be 
even for VP level, I think we we'll, we have to go through an interview process. We have mm -hmm. to be identified that we have the competencies, and then for for P ship level, there is another selection round, and then a bit of training. There is a, an executive uh, leadership program, then another round of interviews, and then uh, it's finally identified at the ministry level. So in the U.S., basically, what happens? You have to go get your master's in educational administration. And then you go out and try to find a job, but that's not the way it works here. No, no. here uh, you don't you don't need that, right? It's all it's all like built up within. We we are all uh, encouraged to do our masters, including the teachers. And mm -hmm. now there are many opportunities, um, supported by the ministry through funding, through postgraduate awards, and so on. The aim is to get all teachers uh, first a degree, then a master's degree, and then for principalship. Uh, we will have to go through the administrative uh, executive program. They call it Leadership in Education, so LEP. LEP. And most principals, would they have a master's? Most of them uh, would have already. And about, I know, that, you know, I'm not going to quote you on this, but about what percentage of teachers actually have masters, or that depend oh, on primary? It's growing every day. Uh -huh. It's growing every day. I really don't know now. We don't have the right. data. What about in your own school? 